Hey, I got a souvenir for you, buddy. All I can say is, all I can say is, what? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for putting this together. <laughs> You think that's so funny, I don't think you? It's funny. <laughs> What's the story? What's the story, John? <laughs> no. Uh, or you're welcome to wander around and join us later on. Okay. Yes, we are. Yeah, have fun. You're kind of like the, the, the locomotive. You can take one of these on your way out, too, if you wish. Okay. Thank you. And I can put it on my YouTube channel as well. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me say, but the tour started the trunk. I when love you. Can wander around. Would you guys take a look? Donations accepted. Uh, that board right. And uh, neighbor of Harvey and Bob, known them 35 years. So you're going to take a tour of about a half hour, 35 minutes, and you're going to gain a lot of information, and you're going to love it, and you're going to want to come back and see it again and again. <laughs> so, so most of us got coffee. Oh, coffee that's really. hilarious. I just found that out That's so. Uh, hey, Mark. It was on the sale table. Oh, no, I don't Any items for 20? I don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't do those, not huh? That, not that kind. No, I, I'm on. <laughs> the stur yeah. the was sturgeon. 20 yeah. bucks. Oh, 20? Yeah, I thought yeah, you could keep that 40. A lot of hanging up in here. You know, the mill. Paul Bunyan. <laughs> yeah. So that was in the paper. Let's see what it says here. Everybody stop the video, pause it, and read it. Yeah, I hope you can read that. Yeah, they will. They'll be able to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can see them hauling ass. They, they're already dropped and one got the wedges in. <laughs> uh -huh. they made, this is the back cut. The wedge that you see is cut into the oh, front. Okay, okay, so it's going down. Okay, and they're so slamming the wedges away, in so to get, get, it, get it to fall. fall. So I'm ready for I'm ready for my transfer on everything. <laughs> that that put up my plumage. <laughs> so to speak. No, no, that's that's when we start. We're gonna start. If you step over this way and uh, this exact mill, the head rig, the steam engine, everything that you see here was in Coleman Valley. They logged from 1914 to 1920, uh, 1923. 1923, they had already taken out the old growth and all the good stuff. So they shut down, broke it down, picked it up, moved it here, re-erected in this spot in 23, and worked from 23 to 63, right? And the men that were hired naturally moved along with the with the mill, Jippo Mill. You could pick it up, move it where you where you wanted to put it. Okay, so one of those young dogs that get up on it <laughs> with the hobnails, create another hole, take another springboard. Up on that one, pull this one up, create another hole. And what he's doing, he's working away from the base and he's going up, up. And he might be eight or 10 feet off the ground before he finds good lanyardly straight material. Then he's marked the tree for harvest, come down, his springboard holes are in and he's off looking for another. So those three guys or two guys that would be broken into that, that team are, are grading material for harvest. Another team coming behind them, they're carrying spring boards and a whip saw. They find the tree that was marked, run the spring boards up, stand on the spring boards, take the whip saw. Guys on the other side, I refer to it as bird's mouth, but it's a wedge cut. <laughs> Change its direction. 
steam donkey turns, I pull it across the road, up over the hill, down the other side, through the creek, up over the hill, the next hill. Up on that hill, a young man has gone out and found a spar pole. Spar pole is a tree like similar to that, only maybe bigger. See that tall one over there? That's where he wants to station this block. And he wants it 160 feet in the air. Wants this cable played through down into the canyon where that log is laying in 30 foot lengths. Okay, so the steam donkey works its way to that location up on the hill. It's tethered at all four corners, so now it can't turn. Right? Steam is pouring out of the thing. I, you know, it's a steam engine sitting on skids. Right? That young guy has climbed the tree. Right? He's got a a block, small block, like rolling block like that on his belt, small one, and a rope plate through. He's got a handsaw and an axe. So he climbs the tree, he knocks branches off, he gets to the top, takes the top of the tree off, takes the, the rope off his belt around the tr top of the tree, takes the block, clips it into the rope. The ground crew starts pulling a bigger rope up. Next thing, a bigger block comes up, then a bigger rope, bigger block, finally a cable. You know, he's working through a block this size. Eventually, he's gonna have 2,800 pound block like this, 160 feet in the air, and the cable will be played through down into the canyon where they're gonna grab that block to 30 foot lengths. It's uh, tethered at the top, it's raised off the ground in a 45 degree angle, and it's pulled in the direction of the block. Now it's dropped, and there's another steam donkey that followed the track that this one created, and it's on the next hill. There's its cable. Its cable grabs a hold of that log, pulls it up, changes its direction, and it's being drug on an angle because less friction on the ground, no debris in the bark that's going to end up at the blade, and they're working it out of the canyon, up over the hill, through the creek, you know, to a road.